Assalamu alaikum, this is your computer science teacher, Sir Fawad Akhtar Ansari. Today I am about to explain you one dimensional array. So basically what is an array, it is like, it is a basically a data structure which is used to store number of elements which must have the same data type. You may assume that it is a box and the box has got some uh, stuff and the, all of the stuff is made up of same material. So in the same way, array basically is a container which contains different elements and all of these elements must have same data type. All of the elements must be integer or all, all, all elements must be a string. So all of the elements must have the same data type. If I want to create an array for uh, to store students marks, so marks data type is integer and all the marks should be stored in one array. If I want to create an array to store students names, so all of the elements must have the same data type which is the string. So this is the A array basically. So <clears throat> what are the key elements, what are the key requirements for, uh, to create an array? We must first understand the basic. Before creating an array, we must select the name of an array like let's suppose if i want to store ages so i name my array variable name uh, age and array length how many ages i want to store let's suppose five ages or six ages so first i name write the name of an array let's suppose age is a name of my array so age and next step is the length length means how many elements do i need to store for example five so I will write 5 and then what data type should I use? Of course, it could be the integer. So I will use uh, data type as an integer. Let's uh, see an example. Like let's suppose I want to store um, month's name in an array and the name of my array is month's name. My array name is month's name and I want to store 12 months. So 12 is the uh, size or the length of the array and I want to store the name of the array or of the uh, months. So I uh, use my data type as a string. So if you see that I want to store my uh, month's name like January, February, March, April, May and so on. So these are the names of the months. Okay. So these are the names of the months and uh, next thing is the index or the position of the array so index or the position is basically the allotment number that how does the array allot our uh, data so it starts with the zero or one so it depends upon you you start your array with the one or you start your array with the zero so i started with the zero and then on the zero position the month is january and the first index or indice you may call it first index or indices so first index is the february index number two is march index number three is april <coughs> or you may call it a position like on the fourth position my string is may or on the fifth position my string is june and on the sixth position my string is july so this is how you may assume that your array must be stored. So th this is a basic concept that we must concrete it. So I name my array, it's month's name and I want to store 12 months, right? If I count from one and if I count from zero, I may represent my array name like this. One is to 12. This is another part. Uh, of the topic that we may declare our array like this or if you start your array with the zero so your array length or your array size must be presented by this okay it's acceptable or you want to present your array like this okay fine no issue or even if you start with a zero index so you may also present like this I hope you got the point. So first step is the array name. Okay, I did this. Next is the length must be in the square brackets. All right, I did the length and the data type is a string because I want to store names of the months. 
next step this is a declaration now let's see how we can make the sudo code so this is a proper declaration like we de write our word declare in the sudo code declare then my array name months name and if i take let's suppose uh, i start my arrow from the zero position or index zero then i take 11 the size of the array and the data type is a string all right now <coughs> I am assigning my index positions. Uh, uh, I am assigning my elements in each index position. Like my array name is month's name, my index position is zero, and I want to assign the word January in my this array position. Okay. So and on the array name month's name and index position one, I want to assign a word. February. This is the position of one. Next, my array name is month's name, and my index position is two. And I am about to assign. I about to assign a value, and it is March. And in the same way, in the sudo code, we use assignment operator uh, arrow. All right. So I am changing my equals to because I converted my high-level language program into the sudo code, and I forgot to write the arrow sign. So you may assign all of the index value or you may assign all of your elements in each index position. This is how you may assign your elements in the index position. So let's jump to the next stop, next part, output. Now I want to output my array. So I write output or the print statement and I use the prompt for the user understanding names of months are and my variable name all right this is how we can do but uh, this is uh, without the loop so how can we make a more appropriate program than this because i am not satisfied with this program so we can do this stuff in a pretty much uh, summarized way with the help of a loop so how can we make this program much more better and much more impressive without wasting the time so we can improve our sudo code like this. Now let's suppose I am decreasing the font size. Okay, this is the same method that I uh, explained you. I started to uh, declare my array with the declare word and then I write my array name and I do not put the length of the array here. Why? I tell you leave the square brackets blank and place your data type which is string and i want to store the names of the months here like after equal to. means that my array name is month's name value is null you may like uh, you may assume that this is null value but in this null value i am storing these alphabets uh, these words January, February, March, April, May, June, July, and so on. So you see that I use the square brackets. This is a um, this is a way to write the sudo code for the array. So you must write the square brackets, and in the square brackets, use inverted commas and then type your text. It is just for the text, not the numbers. So here I uh, place the comma. Then after the comma, I use inverted commas and then write down my text. So after a comma, I have to type the inverted commas and write down my text. So this is another way to declare your array. And this time we are making the array program with the loop. I use the count variable and I initialize it with the zero because I want to start my index position from the zero. But if you want to start your index position from the one, then initialize it with the one. But by default, I want to start and initialize my array index position with a zero. So that is why it's up to me that I want to initialize with a zero or one. And the for loop will definitely iterate with the index position. So it, it is here definitely it is zero and it will iterate till 11th index position. And uh, when I am trying to access the elements that I stored in the count variable, so I want to display it with the print statement. So here you can see my I use the print statement or output statement and I use my array name months 
and uh, the number of elements that I can access will be iterated with the count variable with the help of the for loop. And here my loop has been completed and now I want to just end my program here and let's see that if we implement this pseudo code in the high level language what would be the possible outcome. So I have already made the code of it. It's time to check that whether our code is working or not. So let's see the output. All right. Uh, okay, now we got the output. So as you can see that we got the list of the uh, elements: January, February, March, April, and so on. So this is how our pseudo code working in form of high-level language. And I use VB.NET as a high-level language. I hope you understood this point that I'm trying to explain you. But if you have any query, you may ask me on uh, WhatsApp or the Facebook, and I will also send you this program if you want. So this is how our one-dimensional array works uh, with the loop as well. And thank you so much, and we will meet in the inshallah in the next class of the yeah, uh, of using the input array elements. So stay tuned. Thank you so much. Love.